Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a great day. And today I want to talk about this pet carrier slash pet backpack that I picked up that was not sent to me as I picked it up for going hiking and taking out my little friend, Travis. He's a 12 pound, 12, 13 pound dachshund. I'm going to sh show you him in here in a moment. He's my friend's dog, but we go hiking and he's getting a little bit older. So uh, having this backpack will make it easier for uh, if we're gonna go a little bit further the distance. So if you're looking for one, then this might be a good fit. Now what intrigued me about it was the shape. Also like the color options, a number of different colors that it comes in. And I'll be sure to put a link in the description as well as in the comment section below. So if it makes sense, you can order it. Now, as far as the backpack, it does weigh about 2.12 pounds. So it's gonna be a little bit heavier. Uh, and I realized that as I started carrying him in there because he's weighing about 12 or 13 pounds. So anyway, let me just share this with you. It comes just like this and the doors just open up. It does have this, which I like versus another one that I have. It has this soft faux material, which is black which is better than white. I don't know why some other companies do that. And so then this, what, what's good about this then is that it, uh, it, it won't show dirt as easily. Uh, you can easily open the zipper, take the inside out, and which has got a foam padding to make it a little bit softer for your pet that you put in there. And then there's also Velcro to put it to the bottom. All right, so now let's go ahead and we're gonna get this opened and we're gonna go ahead and put this in and make sure it's Velcro down. Now, we'll go ahead, it's got the side doors, you got full zippers to make it easy for putting your pet uh, in or out. So you've got a number of different ways that you can use this. So now we got it zippered up. Let me just show you everything about it. Now, first of all, you could see it's well ventilated and I like the fact that it's more um, rounder but wider, which is good. So it makes it easier. Some cut a little narrow at the top, so it makes more room a little bit tighter for the pet. So plenty of ventilation. So up here, you got a little hook that you can hang stuff. You've got a, a zipper here. So you got that, that's one section. The one thing I wish that it had was a, some kind of pocket uh, up front that you could maybe put rather than this opening. As far as pockets, you do have these side pockets that you can put stuff in. So if there was a couple of things, one, uh, the, the pockets, uh, you got the two, but it wanted something zippered. But if you have another little waste pack or something else that you might use, then you can attach it maybe even onto here or onto your waist. So that's something to, to think about. Then you've got full, uh, well, it's actually three uh, halfway zip. So you've got this whole section and it gives a chance for the animal to, uh, you know, watch what uh, the surroundings and it stays locked. And then you've got this strap here. Uh, it's got a carabiner hook and you can adjust the inside so you could make it longer if you want as well. So you could see that can come out quite a bit, but they did a nice job. It feels like it's a, a good quality uh, strap there as well and that it's not going to slip out. Uh, then you can also, as far as this front here, from what it looks like, you can Velcro. You can Velcro the, the front, which is smart that they have thought about that. So you got that there. And again, you have same thing on the side here. You got this door that opens up. You do half way and it's got dual zippers, which is kind of nice. Uh, also, you could use like a lock if you're afraid that the pet might get out. Uh, you could put it like kind of padlock there. Then you got a, a handle there to pull and then you have your straps. The straps are padded, which is good. So it will make it more comfortable. And then for putting it on, let me go ahead and put it on here a second just so you can see that. And then I will bring Travis out here. We'll put him in there and I'm sure he's gonna be so excited to go in. Uh, probably not, but that's okay. So we'll go ahead and you can adjust these straps where these can go down a little bit, which is good. So we'll move this down a little bit, get, try and get this under the microphone. So you got that there. And then you also have a nice thick strap for your stomach waist area there. So that will give you an idea. Now, uh, right now, again, it's comfortable 
to wear at uh, this weight. Now when you put your animal in there, it starts weighing down. Again, this weighs 2.12 pounds, so it is gonna be a bit heavier than some other packs on the market. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get Travis. So we'll put him in here, and this will give you an idea what it's like, and I will be back. All right, so I got little man Travis. He's our special guest. Travis, take a bow. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put him in here. And, okay, go ahead, buddy. So you can see, he does have plenty of room. Obviously, he's a longer dog because he is a dachshund. But you got this uh, safety strap, so it keeps him in there. And he can sit very comfortably. Right, Chavis? You can sit very comfortably. And again, it gives plenty of room for the dog to sit in there, be comfortable. He can lay down, relax. You, again, if you want to open up that side door, you can do that as well. And Travis can enjoy the view. So it works really well for your pet. And now we're going to go ahead and tuck him in there. And I'm going to go ahead and put the backpack back on. All right. So this is what it looks like uh, as far as weight with the dog in the backpack. What I like also about this bag is that it doesn't dig into your lower back. So it does work really well. And again, for a dog or a cat, whoop. All right, buddy, whoops. Sorry to me to do that. Uh, it will work very well. I think most dogs, cats uh, will be very comfortable in here. And we'll go ahead and take them out. And again, I'll be sure to put a link where you could learn more and We'll go ahead and open up this side door and let him come out. So there you go. Javis, what do you think, buddy? That worked out all right. You can come on out. Well, how about that? He likes it that much. He doesn't want to get out. So check it out today. I appreciate your time. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.